In this video, I just want to talk a little bit about client-side validation for forms and specifically how we can stop bots from submitting on our forms. Um, I'm talking about like automated bots or processes maybe from another website or server and they're basically just putting a bunch of nonsense into your form and submitting it. And even if you're able to stop them with your server-side validation, they're still going to be making HTTP requests on your server, maybe every five minutes, maybe every minute, and that is going to impact your server performance. So what I really want to do is be able to stop these um, bots on the client side so they're not able to submit the form and they're not able to like impact my server. And I've tried a lot of different ways for doing this. I know that you can use CAPTCHAs as an effective way, but I actually I don't like CAPTCHAs because I think it um, holds people back from submitting the form because they don't want to do the CAPTCHA. And a lot of times filling out the CAPTCHA is very difficult. And I know there's other ways we can do validation on our input fields and stuff like that. But I've found that um, some really nasty bots are still able to submit the form. And I think that they're submitting the form not by filling out the fields on your um, in your form. I think they're doing it um, in a different way. Some of the more clever ones, such as um, they're basically finding out all of your inputs names and then they're grabbing from the action tag um, where to submit to and maybe they are posting to your form um, in their own way, not necessarily going through your form. And from my experience, I think some really clever bots have done this to me. And one way that I was able to stop them is by removing the action tag from the form tag. So once they had nowhere to submit to, um, they weren't able to do that anymore. So basically what I did was I removed um, the action tag and where the form was submitting to before, I changed that to a new file and I renamed that file it was being submitted to. And the result was they weren't able to submit it anymore. I wasn't getting any more bot registrations in my database. So I'll just show you how I did that. And I'm also curious to know, um, you know what you think is the best way or what way works for you. So uh, just post that in the comments field how you think is the best way to do client-side validation. I'm just going to go over to my register form first here. And you'll see I just have a simple registration form right here. Um, but you'll notice in the form, I've set the action tag to an empty string. And if you were getting bots um, submitting spam on your form before, one thing you'll definitely want to do first is you'll first want to change the file name of where this is being submitted to. And after that, set the action tag to an empty string. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this action tag in back in with JavaScript um, be right before they submit the form. So I'm just going to go into my main.js file. And you'll see I'm using jQuery here. And what I'm doing is I'm selecting that particular form, so um, the ID of register form, and the form is nested within this div right here. And then I'm selecting the submit button with input colon submit. After that, we're using dot click and we're passing it this function right here. And the first thing we're doing in the function is we're grabbing the form with register form and then space form. And we're setting the attribute, um, we're setting the action attribute to uh, where we want it to submit to. So in my case, it's HTTP and then concatenate document.domain. So this way it's going to work on my localhost and it's also going to work on the server that I'm going to push it onto. And then we concatenate on the rest of the path right there. And after we've updated the action attribute here, then we're just using, um, we're selecting the form and then we're using dot submit right here. So right now this form that we're submitting, it has no action tag and we are going to add that back in with JavaScript here and then submit the form. So we can just go over and test this out. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of rubbish in here and uh, any email and let's put in a password and click register and you'll see that form was submitted even though it didn't have an action tag to begin with. The last thing you can do if you want to use this strategy for stopping bots on your client side is you can obfuscate this jQuery right here. That way, if they went into your JavaScript file, which is public, um, they might be able to get this path right here. Um, so what I've done just for added protection is I've obfuscated all this jQuery right here, and you get var, and then you get um, this long string after it. And I have tested it with just this obfuscated JavaScript, and the form still submits fine. And there's a website where you can obfuscate your JavaScript, and that is uh, www.javascriptobfuscator.com. And I've used this several times in the past and I've never had a problem with it. 
And that's just one more thing we can do to make it a little bit more secure and stop them or make it more difficult for them to know where your form is being submitted to if they were going into your JavaScript files. So please post in the comments what you think about this kind of strategy for stopping on the, them on the client side. And if you have your own effective methods for doing this kind of thing, um, please post them as well so uh, I can see them and everyone else can see them. And maybe we can get a bit of a discussion going on good ways to stop these kind of hackers and bots um, on the client side.